Hi everyone, welcome back to Mac Break Studio, and this is Alex. I'm sitting in. I'm taking taking the reins for at least one episode here with Steve. Hey Steve, how you doing? It's great to have you as a host again, Alex. It's good to be here. Yeah. Now, what are we talking about today? We're talking about uh, the login transfer window. Medicine. This is a very important part of. Uh, I think a lot of people. I think a lot of people underestimate the importance of login transfer because when you're login capturing login transfer, this is when you set up all your naming. This is when you get everything it's right. Huge. It's and huge. It's huge. If you bring everything in as untitled, you are going to pay the price for the rest of your project. Right. And the thing about the login transfer window is it makes it so easy to bring in just tons of footage and be right. really lazy. Really. Right. And, you know, and it also makes it easy to be organized. Very, yeah. And that's what we're going to talk about, how right. to be organized with just a few simple clips, clicks of the mouse. Oh, how do we get started? Yeah. Okay, so it's called naming presets. You can see I have my little SD card here. And, oh, uh, isn't that cute? And that little cute little SD yeah. card. And so I have um, log and transfer. And you can see, like you said, look at all those untitled clips. Yeah. And that's not your friend. Not your friend yeah. at all. Okay. Now you could, you know, if, if, I, if I took this clip right now, I'll take a, a short one. If I took this clip right now and if I drug it in here, it'll start transferring, but it'll say untitled. It'll actually be right. transferred into the into and, the capture stash as untitled. And even if you change it as change the name in the sequence, the file is still, it's untitled. still untitled. And so the problem is, is that if you ever have to move those files, if you ever have to find which which file that is, they're all going to be you know this this hodgepodge. You, you, you have to name them. Yeah. Okay. Now you could. I mean, this is the this is the uh, logging area of the log and transfer window. You could go in here and you can name each one. But look. The log and transfer window, well, the beauty of it, uh, the tapeless workflow, is you can have like 10 volumes mounted at the right. same time. Right. And, and you could just walk away and it can be just ingesting off all these volumes. Right. But if you just take care to just do a couple little simple things, you can make your life so much easier. So what are those couple so of things? So here, here it is. So under the naming presets, one right. of the fine, one of the ones I, I I love to use is down here it says custom name with counter. Yeah. Okay. Now th this is great is because notice that uh, you can put in a custom name, but notice that the first number is 001. Right. So like, look, if you look at these clips, most of these, if I just click on these, most of it's, it's pretty much the same content. It's my, you know, it's my kids on their ramps and they're about ready to ride their horses around the arena. Right. And uh, I could just come in as custom name. I could just say uh, horse arena, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, there it is, okay? And notice the first number. Now, now when I select these, it's just, I'll just shift click. And you can select them. a whole section. I can select a whole section. So you can, can say, you know, so you name these by sections as you bring them in. Exactly. Um, in fact, let me pick a few short, a few short ones here, so I don't have to kind of wait an eternity. So I'm just going to command click on some of the short ones. And a lot of people won't know this. If I, you drag straight into the browser, you don't have to drag them into the transfer queue. Right. They will just transfer straight in the browser straight away. Right. And as you'll see when they start transferring, as you'll see when they get over there, they'll all have the name um, Horse Arena, and they'll be appended 001, 002, right. 003. Right. And, it, and it makes it extremely useful. Absolutely. Um, let me talk about a couple of the other naming presets that mm -hmm. maybe people aren't aware of that are also very helpful. You may right. not always want a custom name with counter. Mm -hmm. um, there's one called uh, Current Name with Clip, Date, and Time. That could be, that's a, a really handy one if you have a bunch of multi-camera footage because it right. stamps it with a date and time. So you can quickly identify your footage vis-a-vis -vis that camera when it was shooting, time of day, and what yep. have you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, really, and if, if you make sure that your camera date and time is set correctly. Yes. <laughs> not, that, not that it's ever been a problem for me. Exactly. So you notice you can also... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, was that, saying, was that, did I really shoot that with a digital camera in 1996? I don't think so. So anyway, so yeah. Exactly. So. so but then the also thing is you can actually create your own presets. If you right. go into new, you can actually edit a pre-existing or you can choose new. And it brings up this dialogue. You can say, oh, wow, there's, look at all that. Look right. at all that metadata you can add to your to your. So you can say, you know what? I have the current name, but let's say I want, for whatever reason, I need to include the shot take. I really want to include, you know, the clip date, and then I want to include. Oops, you get, you, the thing about this, so you've got to you've got to really make sure your mouse right. is in the right there. spot. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you can just add stuff, and all of that will become part of the name. You can see it says untitled there. I can name that if I want, but right. point is, is that I can create my own custom naming preset to right. fit the particular. Production and for scenario. a job, and in a lot of ways, you can have it where if you're the technical director for something, you can decide what the, what everyone's going to do, right. and then we don't have to. And the thing is, this as you start building those presets, the big thing is is that you're not depending on everyone else to remember what that is or how they have to do it or right. what they're going to do. Just set up some basic rules and build these rules for them. Now, is this something that you can can you take these settings and move them from one copy of Final Cut to another? Is that are those settings stored somewhere? That is a very good question. I don't know. Stumped him. You stumped me. That's what I do. So anyway, so <laughs> so anyway, so yeah. I, I, let's put it this way. I'm 99.9% .9 sure you can. It's yes. probably stored in the preferences, but I, I, I think that would be, be it'd be hidden somewhere. Um, 
that, that's a you, you did stumble you got yeah, me. Yeah, you never. You know, so 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 that would be the but but either way, if you just set up the, what the rules are, it'd be something that you, someone could follow, set those up, and then from yeah. then on, you're not making those mistakes of trying to type all that stuff in. Exactly. Exactly. How many times do you want to type horse ranch or horse You arena, don't, but, you know? but, but my, my point being is if you look up here in the browser, you can see that the horse arena, so it's a one of two, and you can actually set up how it appends the numbers. You can, you can set the amount of digits. So you can start at one or you know, 001 or 001. And you can decide that they have a uh, space or no space? Between them? Well, no. Between uh, all well, these different it, pieces? It, it, well, it just, it just depends. Like, here you can see how it's set up. If, if I go to, let's, if, let's if you go went into un, If you went into edit, edit one of these. Right. Let's, let's edit uh, clip date and time, OK? You can see down here that's going to show you how it's going to transfer. There's clip 10 dash. There's the date and the Now, if we go into that, though, if we, if we go to edit that. OK, let's go into it. We edit. have, um, but we have spaces in here. So if we pull those spaces out, yes. we would get rid of I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan big, of spaces. You don't like spaces. They're bad. So spaces and special characters, I'm not a big fan so you can, of. So you, can, you can actually pull that out and yeah, put ship underscores. Underscores, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what we You know, I am a big fan of underscores, too. In fact, uh, I'll have to underscore what he's talking about. Well, the, the big thing is, is that when you're, uh, if you're writing Unix scripts, mm -hmm. the, the big thing that you get into, the, to look for this or grab this, spaces are percent 20. I know. <laughs> you know, you know, it's so, so the, 20, that's right. Like nine, you know, it's just like, you're like, <laughs> can't believe somebody did this. Every time you're, every time you're, and so, and so that's the, so, uh, so you get, after you do it a couple of times, you're kind of like, yeah, we'll just use underscore. Yeah. So that's the, uh, you know, or, or clump them all together, so. Yeah. Exactly. But that's great. And, and it's great that you can, you can set all that stuff up right here. Absolutely. Fantastic. So this will save you a lot of time and frustration Absolutely. and maybe even a job. It, you know, all these little <laughs> things, you know, uh, oftentimes I was, we were just talking to so, someone and we think that about 30% of our savings that we ever have is just stuff like this. It's just the management, the naming conventions, the folder structures is literally 30% of the cost of your job. Uh, and and, and um, that can be something that you don't get, um, you know, because you know, the client's going to pay the same amount of money. Yes. That's your margin or it's not your margin. <laughs> but and, 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 and the, le the level of you getting that um, just comes down to just pure organization because you think about how many times you're looking for files. And it's, and it's like, oh, th if that takes an extra four minutes and you do it all the time, you know, the extra one minute, it, it, it's sucking all that, all that, uh, that uh, lifeblood. <laughs> out of your out of your thing. Not that I, not that I have an opinion about it. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, Steve, where can fi people find more? Uh, they can find it at rippletraining.com. We have a great product called Final Cut Pro Seven Core Training that goes into. We have a, a huge chapter just on this alone because this is, yeah. this is what people are doing now. It's tapeless workflow. And as far as I'm concerned, tape is dead except for an archival. Oh. Dead. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. Dead. All right. Thanks, Steve. Tapeless. All right. Thank you. And thank you for watching Mac Break Studio.